Good morning, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new vlog. It's been, I'm just trying to produce some energy at 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to a brand new video. That was quite a nostalgic moment right there. I used to say that intro every single day when I used to film uh, video, like vlogs daily. But we've got a pretty special day planned today. So I thought for old time's sake, we'd film an old school style vlog. And I would bring you guys along with me on the way but first things first i need to get some breakfast and what are we thinking slow motion coffee montage for old time's sake go on then is this what you want now feels like you're looking for something better So we've just got this standard Cameron Jeffers coffee this morning, some porridge with a bit of chocolate in and some fruit on top, and a coffee. Cheers. When I'm off doing these like challenge videos and stuff, as much as I love doing them, I feel like I'm not able to kind of talk to you guys, the viewers, like as, as sort of personal as I would used to in my daily vlogs and stuff. So I thought whilst I'm sat here having my breakfast, I would quickly update you as to like what's going on in my life, what I've got coming up. And uh, yes, finally, we've, I, I know quite a few people have been, have been asking me like when the first race of the season is going to be. And the first race of the season is in fact going to be the Tour of Estonia in Estonia. I'm in quite like a deep training hole right now. I'm, I'm feeling pretty tired every day when I'm waking up and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're in like the last big sort of build phase before the racing so physically i'm in a really good place i feel fit i feel healthy and i just can't wait to get racing again but i'm not gonna lie to you i'm looking forward to an easier day or hopefully what's going to be an easier ride today so the sort of premise behind today's video is i'm gonna do a ride i'm gonna take uh, Mr. Ben Foster or the Cycling GK as he's known on YouTube. So I'm going to take him on a ride of my local roads and kind of show him what the north has to offer. However, I have a bit of a shorter day today, so I'm going to ri drive, not ride, to the meeting point. Otherwise, if I was to ride this route, it would be like 160 kilometers. Mr. Ben Foster, welcome to the channel. How are you doing, bro? I'm incredible, mate. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the north. It's uh, It's been raining for like the past week non-stop, so it's, I mean, it's not really sunny today, but at least it's not a... Uh, at least it's not raining, right? It's a north for you, mate, though. Yep. It's cold. I, I can feel it already. It's only like two hours away from my house, but I got out of the car and I'm like, nah. I'm going to have to put like a snood on. I've got like five layers on already. Do you know how you can, do you know how you can tell you from down south? Go on. you got gloves on. Mate, they're thick gloves as well. <laughs> they're like proper thick gloves. I need them. I get so cold. I'm like the coldest man on the bike, honestly. It's horrible. Yeah. Are, you, uh, are, you, are you ready for this? Do you feel prepared? No. I mean, we're in, we're in the Peak District. The first climb we're going to go up today is called Long Hill. It's, it's a bad start. I don't like it already. I'm, I think halfway around, I'm going to have to tell you to just slow down, calm down. Can we turn around and go home? Because I'll be honest with you, I've got seven weeks off now and I had a few beers last night and it was lovely, honestly. I had a lovely time with my mates. So we'll just take it easy today. Yeah? All right. Nice and calm, it'll be lovely. So for those of you that are familiar with the north of England, we're basically just doing a ride around the Peak District today, starting in Whaley Bridge. Heading over Long Hill towards Buxton and then looping back round to Mamtor. It'd be around 55, 60k, I reckon. What's that? 45k, was it? <laughs> nah, 60. <laughs> hey, you're a professional athlete, mate. You, this should be nothing. Mate. You're, you're an actual athlete, like. Probably he's an athlete. What are you on about? Who are you talking to? Probably just stand there and shout away. <laughs> <laughs> just look big and strong. <laughs> no, all I've been doing the last six months is clapping anyway. Well done, lad. Well done, love it. <laughs> Hello, mate. So we're at the top of the first climb right now. How are we feeling? Is it honestly the top? Yeah, man. We're, we go around the left hand corner now, and that is. That is the top of Long Hill. You're not going to do me dirty, you know? <laughs> All right, if we're at the top, then I'm buzzing. That was the quite nice, you know, it was steady. Yeah. It was 
You're, you just keep chatting though, and you're killing me. Like, you're showing off by chatting, and I'm breathing literally out my ass. So Ben, I'm sure like 99.9% .9 of the viewers of my channel know who you are and what you do. Obviously you're a goalkeeper for Watford. You've started a YouTube channel, you're into cycling and all that good stuff. But I've got a question here, Ben. Are you known more as Ben Foster, the Watford goalkeeper, or Cycling GK? <laughs> because, right, backstory. When I first set up my channel, I called myself Cycling Cam, right? And even though my name's Cameron, everyone I ever met called me Cycling Cam. Nice, Not yeah. Cam, it was never Cam, never yeah, Cameron, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was Cycling Cam. So, like, do you find you're in the same situation or? For sure, mate, I've played football for 20 years, yeah? Yeah. And I've never been so well known as what I am right now. But all I ever get called is the Cycling GK. And all they ever say to me is, love your videos. <laughs> it's taken wrong, it's fucking it's belting, honestly, it's so nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like my football career don't even exist anymore. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, baby. That's what YouTuber. Welcome to 2021, no, baby! Like community, I love it. YouTube's the best. It's fucking awesome. Oh man, it's sick, it is yeah. sick. Speaking of football, my dad told me this morning that he used to play for United. So, have you been up here before? Like, do you know the, these roads and stuff? Have you have you ever ridden up here? Well, have you ever? Well, I was at United like t about ten years ago. Right. And I was kind of doing a bit of cycling, yeah. but not really too much kind of thing. I was getting out and about, but like doing something like this would never even cross my mind. Right. Like I'm blowing now. Back then, I would have been dying of death. Yeah. Uh, but nice, no, beautiful, mate. What a place. You're wow, lucky you live around here. <laughs> Going up the hill, and you're passing me going down the hill. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So I want to ask you one kind of semi-serious question, man. <laughs> well, how how sort of physically fit do you actually need to be to be, you know, a pro footballer like like you are? Do you need to, you know, watch your nutrition, watch your weight? Uh, yeah, I think it's completely different for your position. So obviously a goalkeeper like I am, yeah, um, you're allowed a little bit more food, I'd say. You don't, you don't, definitely don't train as hard as the outfield players. Right. They are absolute elite athletes. So even in the last 10 years, I'd say they've become so much more professional. They, yeah. They just know what to do and they do it off their own back as well, which they should do. Yeah. But it never used to be the case. And now, honestly, they are just so fit and they look after every single facet of their life. So they know, they don't have to be told. They, they just know what to eat, yeah. when to eat it, when to recover, when to work hard. Um, yeah, especially, you know, we, we've just been promoted to the Premier League. The level is, it's that much higher even again. Yeah. So every single one of us has to just step it up a little bit more. One more time, just keep going. <laughs> it's amazing. That reminded me, Ben, I used to be a foot, I used to be a, uh, a goalkeeper, spent a bit of time in nets. Six aside nets, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 my Power League. It was a short lived career. <laughs> I'm talking two or three games. And then I, and then I decided I preferred dressing up in, like her and shaving my legs. We all like dressing up in like her, there's nothing wrong with that, alright? <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm breathing and he's just doing a wheelie. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. So we're currently going up Mam Tor, which is basically the climb that goes around the side of when it's past. The road is now closed to traffic because it's just like falling away. And look at this. Yo, we've hit the end of the road here, pal. I don't think we're getting down there, mate. <laughs> Come on, we'll find a way. We down got, there. Gotta go around. Okay, this is the site of the climb. And certain ain't right. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> look at this. I was about to say, I wonder why the road's closed to traffic, but now I think I know why. I think there's something wrong with the road, mate. <laughs> do you think? Do you reckon? That's just, that's just mental how, like, the road has just fallen away. That's insane. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's sick. We should have just stuck to the flipping when it's past, man. We'd be at the top by now. <laughs>
Yeah, but it's steeper. <laughs> I don't like steep. Come on, this is nice. I'm gonna go for it. If you get up there, I will be very impressed. Come on then. <laughs> Nearly, mate. One more, one more, one more, one more All right, one more, go on then. What are you gonna do, bunny off over that? I am not even attempting that. I am coming straight off if I try to do that. He's gonna go again, you know. Please don't break the bike. Please don't break the bike. Oh no! Uh -uh. <laughs> the bike's all right there, mate. You didn't hurt the bike, it's fine. So we've done about 45K right now. Ben, give me a quick summary how your time in the Peak District has been. Like, what do you think of the roads around here? Uh, apart from that Mamtor road, which is <laughs> broken. <laughs> broken. It is beautiful, mate. Honestly, look around. It is outrageously nice. First ever trip to the Peak District. Mate, it is incredible. Yeah, man. Absolutely beautiful, mate. And I am blowing. <laughs> Thankfully, we've done all the climbing now. I think it's time to head to the cafe. Get our coffee on. Yeah. Get our cake on. So we're at the top of Winnett's Pass right now. We've basically just got like a 10k descent back down to Whaley Bridges, which is where we started. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. So that's about 50k done now, just riding around the peak. We stopped at a cafe on the way back, got ourselves a nice little coffee. And Ben has just told me he's got six, is it true you got six layers on today? This is a southern man up north right now. One. Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, five. You got two base layers as well. Oh Obviously. my, mate! Are you not sweating like I'm mad? Coldest there? man in the world, all right. I need it, and I feel lovely as well. I'm nice and toasty. It's cold up north. <laughs> right, we're literally a minute away from the coffee shop, and Sarah Story, the Paralympian, absolute legend, just popped out of a side road. Have a look. How cool is that? Boom, day done, we're back at the car, putting the bikes in. Mr. Ben Foster, thank you very much. I survived, mate. Today. I survived. Thank you for having me. That was wicked, mate. Loved it. Yeah, man. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, if you want to see Ben in some more videos, drop a like. I'm trying to convince him to come on some uh, some trips away, some adventures, some challenges. Do you reckon you'll be up for that? 100 percent oh, mate. I've got seven weeks off now, you know. Let's get some up bucked in. For oh, sure, let's right? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Love it, mate. Wicked. What a day. Ben Foster's, what a man. A quick little story before I end the video. Uh, about a year ago, literally a year ago, Ben FaceTimed me uh, with the idea that he wanted to set up his own YouTube channel. He was asking me like what camera I should buy, what microphone, and how I edit my videos. Fast forward one year, the guy is absolutely smashing it. I couldn't be any happier for him. He is doing insanely well. I'm sure most of you guys are already subscribed to him, but if you're not, feel free to go and check out his channel. That's it in today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Pop on. Yeah, I get my pop on. If she needs some bug good, tell her she can hop on. She know I'm the top dog. I know she a hot one. Balenci's on her feet, and you know I got the socks on. She said with my hot socks, she ain't with no knockoffs. See them, we gon' pop off.